Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So as requested, a lot of you have wanted to see this video. It's not a normal video that I do on my channel. So I'm just going to put a disclaimer out there. This is not bragging in any way, shape or form. Like I said, it's not the kind of video that I'd like to do on my channel, but you all wanted to see what I got for my birthday. I've kind of had this stuff here for about, what day are we on now? It's the 13th, so three days, it's been, three days it's been sat here and I've been wanting to like mess with it, play with it, put it away eat it <laughs> so today guys i'm going to get on with it it's going to be a long long video if you want to go and get yourself a cup of tea coffee wine coke fizzy drink go ahead and do it now i'm warning you it is a long video some of this i'm going to be doing in a separate video more in more detail i'm simply just going to be showing you what i got try and roughly say who it's from and then i'm going to move on to the next thing guys i've got a cold guys so if you see me doing that a lot it's because i keep losing the hearing in my ear. So I'm gonna quickly zoom through this stuff, guys, and get it done as quickly as I can. Anything you want to see in more detail, comment below, let me know, and I'll do a separate video on that. But any small businesses, that's quite a big set, I will do in a separate video. Let's get stuck in, guys. Right, so for my birthday, I am 44. I was 44 on the 10th of February, and I got spoiled. And I don't know if that's because I've not been very well, like I said at Christmas, I got a lot at Christmas. I don't normally get this much for my birthday and I don't usually get that much for Christmas. But here we go. Moving straight into it. This has arrived today. I had some bad luck with this. I'll quickly tell you why. Yay! So I've been wanted the new Wadruna album since it was supposed to come out last year. Because of COVID, it got put back to January of this year. And um, I pre-ordered it with the T-shirt. I never, I never got it in time for my birthday and then it was out of stock and I ended up just getting my money back instantly. So I went ahead and got this from EMP guys. It's the, I can never say it, Kit Travin. I think that's it. It's got, um, it's got Gra on there and their new, their new song, which is what this album is all about. Beautiful. I absolutely love it. I am a huge fan of Wadruna. Um, for my birthday also, I'm getting a Wadruna tattoo from my brother when we're allowed to have tattoos again. And I'm thinking of having a Nordic tattoo on my foot. Haven't quite made mind up on that one yet. This was 27 99 guys. It's a normal edition one. The limited edition ones were slightly more. I did have a limited edition one as my pre-order. It was a clear one. Um, I think I waited long enough basically guys. But if you want to see more more of a depth video on this, let me know. But that's what I got from my dad. I got money off pretty much everybody and I bought pretty much what I wanted to get. So this was my first item. I'm just going to move this here. So that was on EMP guys. Moving on, it's not going to be in any particular order because that will just take forever. Next thing. Demonia shoes. Now this was a last minute thing um i'd already got everything i wanted for my birthday and i spotted these and i said to ben, oh i love them and i found them cheaper on the alternative footwear store i think i found them on the actual demonia store and they were 90 or 75 pound and then i found them on here i think they were for i have got all the prices somewhere guys i think they were for 54 and i had to get a size 8 because they had no size 7 and i just kind of flowed with it because i wanted these boots they are quite big, but the beauty of them is I could wear really big thick socks with them and I know that, you know, I'm going to be comfortable and warm. That's the main thing. So, yeah, I've gone for these. They look humongous, guys, even a size 8, but they do, my toe some somewhere around here, so they're comfortable. If they were a size 7, I think my little toe would probably got squashed a little bit. But I got these, guys. They're kitten heel boots. Yes, I know. I've got a thing about this at the minute. This is my second pair of these, or maybe my third or fourth pair. I'm not too sure. In a boot is my second pair. So they've got this skull detail on the buckle here, and there's three there. At the minute, because they're that big on me, guys, I can slide them in without, you know, on buckling everything. So that's a bonus. So that is them, guys. I will try and come back and do a video on these somewhere along the 12 months everything i bought now is for my birthday i'm on a no buy now so anything i do get for my birthday i'll probably review through the year if that makes sense so you'll see this again in a video so that was the first thing i got off my husband move that on um 
These here are actually for Valentine's Day, but you're giving me for my birthday anyway. And I've never ever had some shoes from Pinup Couture. Um, as you know, I collect shoes. But I've got to tell you guys, them, by the way, are very, very slippy on the ground. So I've had some grips put on them just because of my condition and stuff. And I think I've had the same done with these. So upon opening them, they came with a, a bag like this. Now I did get this with my pleaser shoe. So I was really happy that my pinup couture came with a pink bag and my other one's got a blue bag. These are beautiful. My husband knows that I've got a thing for this style of shoe. I've got a lot of these shoes in my collection. It's like the round toe, but little bow and then ties over. I just think when I used to dress 50s retro, I always used to wear this style of shoe. And I think I've just stuck with that style of shoe. The kit, it's like a kitten heel, but slightly bigger than a kitten heel. I've got to be honest, they are so comfy. They've got a polka dot insole and it's very, very squishy, like a, very much like a, a Skechers insole. Very cushioned at the bottom. And as you can see here, my husband has put one of these onto his anti-slip so I don't slip. So that's them guys. Again, if you want to see a video in depth with that, comment below. Um, I'm not gonna be doing any try-ons at all in this video. It's simply what I got for my birthday. If you want me to come back and do try-ons, again, comment below. Right, you're in control guys now. I'm sorry, but you're in control. So if you say you want to see something, I'll do it. And then we'll see how many vote against each other. These were just a cheap buy that he got me. I probably won't wear these, but they'll go in my collection. I did try them on and I, I quickly got them off. <laughs> they kind of hurt me a little bit. Um, they're like a wedge shoe, but they've got this metal design at the back. He just seen these on Marketplace and he said they were something like £10 or something really affordable. And they're just by a SCO. SCO by... No idea. Never heard of them. At first I thought this was like a, like a skeleton, like a bone structured thing and I got really excited. And then upon looking at them, I thought, no, it's just this metal design. It's very quirky, it's very nice. It makes your feet look very, very small, guys. But I don't feel very secure in these, as you can see from the thing. But they're nice to go in my collection. Like my husband said, I'm going to be displaying on my shoes at some point. So they'll go on my display. So that was that, again, from my husband. Moving on quickly because there's so much to do. Um, I did order from Grimly Fiendish Crafts, yes. I took it out of the packaging. I couldn't wait to get this up on the wall. It has been up on the wall. I decided to get the two little white bats hanging down. This was £14, guys. If you want to see another video on Grimly, I will be getting a few more through the year because I want to complete my bedroom wall. So I will be getting more. So I'll probably feature that then when I've got the other two to, to do together. But really inexpensive really quickly de um, delivered I, I love what she does i've seen a few that she's she's brought out and i'm like mm. <laughs> resist rachel at least for another month or so maybe two months until you get some birthdays out of the way but that was that guys i got that with my money off my dad so i'll quickly tell you which i'm worth because i just did, did get money off everybody so that was that guys and then this came from a cult box this is one of their new additions and it's a bat i've not had much luck when it comes to buying bat teddies. The only bat teddy I've ever owned is from a cult box and it was in their occult box from January's box, which was bats. I've got a certificate with this. It is humongous, guys. So this dude was £30. This was from my mum, with my mum's money. And as you can see, he is huge. He is so bloody cute. And he's nice and furry and soft this is just adorable i absolutely love him so he's got this fur detail here the the ears are slightly like a beigey brown matching his feet his wingspan i think is 72 centimeters in width and when i measured it i was like is that right yeah he fits across my whole body and it wraps around like a little cuddly it's so warm and cuddly he has been in my bed and as you can see here is the little bat that i got from the back box which just folds up which is his little baby. So that was that guys. I'm just gonna put everything over here. Now his certificate said, with that came this, this little bracelet, but I won't wear it as a bracelet. I'm gonna put it around his neck as a little collar. I got the poem that I got in the box just to say it was about that. So I might frame that actually and get it up on my wall. I was gonna do that with the other one. And then it says certification of adoption, certificate of adoption. His name is Malik. 
so there you go i will stick with his name malik because we kind of like it so thank you to a cult box meter and car for that that was a really nice it was well presented guys i will say it came in a baggie um i don't know how she fitted it all in there but it was and the bracelet which i'm going to put around its neck that was off my mum as well guys so happy days quickly 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 i should the moon and stars i have got cards off lydia and dan they used to have a youtube channel and lisa and gav daisy and lily and the boys they used to have a youtube channel they sent me cards as well they're still up up at the minute this one arrived today and i've not had a chance to take it downstairs but it is this little card that she had made and it sent to me on e on the internet as well and it says to a wonderful friend go back to it's your birthday happy birthday rachel and it says happy birthday hope you have a fab day love from aisha and she actually got me the matching magnet as well so yeah we do have friend mail coming from aisha very very soon but that'll be a video i'll do on my own um yeah we won't say a lot about that one so thank you babe for that and thank you to lisa gav the girls dan and lydia Mwah appreciate the cards right moving on um god there's so much toe rings i did briefly show you in my last video i did get the pentacle toe ring well this time i got another one and this was off Ben. and it, these are all um 925 sterling silver this one says love on it now i thought he bought it from the same seller he didn't he got it from another seller on etsy i don't have any of the information on that but um, I'll probably be getting more tourings from that seller, either one, anyway. But yeah, that was like, just a quick show, quick show, that's all. Moving on, because there's so much. Let's go back to my mum. So I got two of these guys. One is already out of the box. Um, I've had them both displayed. But I put this one in the box so I could see how it came to me displayed. I can actually get rid of that box now. Because I hate polystyrene. Blah. She bought me this amethyst it is amethyst it's not blue it's actually purple it's just a shift of blue and purple um and it's so pretty and it lights up and it's in it's actually in a glass dome um now she sent me a few of these to send over to her so i was really chuffed but she ordered too many so i only had one originally guys and then one turned into two let me just let me just turn it on so you can see there we go so yeah i have another one if i can find it somewhere so i got this one as well i don't know how much these are guys but i know she bought them on ebay i think they're a really reasonable price but i think these are a beautiful idea for valentine's day for mother's day i mean i would have bought my mum something like this for mother's day but she's beat me to it so <laughs> unless i give her the money for the two she bought um and then they'd be hers from me but she's already seen them so it's no surprise in it now so that's the second one guys i do have one on one end of the room and one on that end of the room there is a couple of things that i may have to just get the camera down and show you but i'll insert a picture of what they are because they are literally up if you remember i got this perfume from cool waters davidoff i don't remember who got me that it was just money that i got it's also one of the scratch card from a coat box um i got another perfume if you remember i got makeup off my husband as well i'll quickly show you that quick so we can get rid of it because you've seen it in the video already so i got the um alchemist kvd highlighter palette i've not touched it yet i've kept it until after i've done it i also got the huda beauty one which was the ruby and i also got all the makeup all the kvd makeup which was from my husband for my birthday so i haven't used any of that i also got the white saint perfume from kvd i absolutely love i just love the whole um aesthetic of it it smells amazing i do love it now off my auntie she got me a sinner again i got a 30 mil they did have them bigger but they were a lot more expensive and i thought one bigger in black and one small in white would look odd so i kept a, a 30 mil so they were both the same size so here's my black one they've got a skull detail and all this filigree around the lid and on the bottle if i had to pick my favorite sinners my favorite it smells a lot stronger than this than the same but i do love both of them so that's that guys <laughs> gee whiz there's no room so i got that i also got jimmy chew which i did show very very briefly on my last video 
this was um i think it was only 21 pound guys but it is literally a 30 ml box the bottle which is the same size as the kvd one so i'm happy with that i do like this a lot this is probably my favorite perfume i've got exclamation mark on at the minute but i will probably buy a bigger bottle in that somewhere along the year if not next year after i finished my no buy of 2021 this i got for my birthday as well i don't know this was money that come before my birthday so i'm pretty confused on who's got what when it came to the early money that arrived but these are from my family i know that much my, i've got quite a big family guys so not only have i got my own family i get presents off my auntie and i get presents off my uncle um and i've got four children obviously and i've got all ben's family as well and i've got brothers and sisters so i did get a lot one of the presents is not here i may have to pause and go down and get it and there's a reason for that i got the vera wang princess i do have the vera wang i can't remember which one it is i've got the the black one and i love that so um i've not actually i've not actually smelt this yet guys i've literally just I got it and took it out of the box and put it on my unit next to the other one. Let me just have a quick... I like the whole, like, this ring that comes with it. The black one's the same. It's just a really nice detailed bottle and it's a nice shape. It's got a little love heart in the middle. That's quite nice, actually. That's quite floral. Ben probably wouldn't like that smell on me. Yeah, it's very, very floral. He'd be like, ooh, what you smell? Right, moving on. So let me just get rid of these empty boxes. I'm going to show you this quickly, guys, because there's been some damage to this one. So my uncle gave me money and I bought this Baphomet to go on my um, unit downstairs. He'd lost his middle bit, guys. I did contact them and they said I could send it back and they send me another one. There was nothing else wrong with it apart from that. And I said, do you know what? Just knock me some money off, refund me a bit of money and I'll glue it. And I've just glued it on. But as you can see, it's a little bit wonky. <laughs> um, it is a little bit wonky. But like Ben said, it, it'd be all right. If it breaks again, he will do it properly with proper super glue. I've just done it with the all adhesive glue. Um, I think this was £21 and pound and they've I think they've knocked £6 off for me. So... I got it under £20, so just for a broken hoof, whatever it is. Yep, horn. <laughs> it's a Baphomet, by the way, guys. I know Mama Goth has probably got one like this. Um, it's a really weird material. I don't know how that broke, to be honest with you, because it feels like it's metal. So they really must have bashed the box about for that to happen. Um, not too impressed by the delivery service. And I can't remember who delivered this. It came this morning. I think it might have been Royal Mail, to be honest with you. Not Hermes for a change. So that's that guy. So I got that of my uncle. Obviously I got money and I was just getting things with my money. I'm trying to grab things that I can just grab and get rid of. I got chocolates from Zach. Yes, I got chocolate from Zach. I got money of my husband and Zach and I've just bought loads of different things. So if I say husband, it could mean it was from Zach. But I got these and I've not opened them yet. I also got a pink box, which is my favourite, which is strawberries and cream. I am sorry three days is long for me to keep a box of these this is my favorite these are my ultimate favorite chocolates so if you ever want to buy me chocolates anybody anybody you've got my heart and soul if you get me the strawberries and cream delish now I think Ben got me these ones for Valentine's Day not for my birthday and Zach got me these for my birthday but I had them anyway so that's that guys they can go watch the video <laughs> um my Ben's uncle, my uncle and auntie, Mark, John and Mark, got me some of these and I've never tried these. I want to try these. They're my sister's favourite chocolates. Never, ever tried them. So I'm intrigued to try them. Yum, yum. And I was real happy that I got these, to be honest with you, because if I had more money, I probably would have bought the big box of these. So that was that, guys. So that was my sweet things. Oh, I got some sweets as well and I ate them. My bad. And I got some roses, different coloured roses. Anything that's not here that I got, I'll insert pictures here. Apart from the drumstick sweets, they just went right straight in the gob and gone. Um, I got a sponge and I don't know where this come from. I think, oh, it was Ben. Ben got me this. I got two units. Well, I've got hold of that. I'll just grab it in a minute. I got two units, guys. These are them here. And they're called Laroque Cosmetics. I have had a Laroque palette but I sold it I just didn't feel like I needed to use it but when I seen these I thought oh I really like these 
So I got a white and I got a black, guys. Now they are literally behind me. I don't know if you can see them. Let me just tilt it. So here is the black. It has two drawers and two big drawers. And then this comes off if you wanted to have it separate. And then this is just a little unit. And then you can put all your lipsticks and your pencils and stuff on the top. I got that and I got a white one. So that is, and then here is the white one. No. That's the black one, that was the white one. So they were £12 each, guys. They were off my husband and maybe Zach. I think Zach may have bought me them, actually, guys. I'm getting a bit confused with who bought what. Um, and Zach did buy me the Royal Sponge. And it says the Royal Complexion Sponge. Latex-free, perfect for blending and contouring. Use dry or wet. So I needed a new one, so that was good. I've never heard of it before, but that was good. Moving on, um, with the rest of the money off my uncle, let me just grab, um, I bought from the Grind Store, I've had so many orders from Grind Store for my birthday, I bought the Magic Spell Candles in red, I have the black ones downstairs and I have two white that I've got in a coat box in the past, so I just used them and I just thought my front room's all black, white, red and grey, so I wanted to find red and Grind Store had them for 2 99 red spell candles so I got that to go with these so I got this one at the minute it's got the black one in but these are really inexpensive this one was 2 99 because it's slightly bigger they usually are about 1 99 so I can't remember whose money I bought this with but it weren't my uncle's I did the red candles but not this I can't remember guys to be honest with you but I got a star I got two stars so I got two stars, which were one ninety nine each to go on my little. It's like a, it's not an altar, guys, but it's like an altar. And then I got another one of these. I've already got one downstairs, so I got another one. So I've got two of each, two stars, two of these. I've got four bats. Remember, I got a bat in the bats box from a cult. I'd already bought three prior from Kate's clothing. And then I got the talking board. I've already got one of these as well. So I'm just pairing up with the ones I got. I love them. They're real, real cute. They look real, really nice. So I got them and then I got this. I couldn't resist. I've got the bat dish and I got that from Bottoms Mill last time. No, I didn't. I got it. From, um, and then I seen the Raven one and I was like, oh my God, it matches my bat one. And I had to have it. This was um, I think it was £18, guys, and I thought, oh, I love it. I do actually want a big raven to go on my wall, probably downstairs, not here, but for that, I had to have it. I've got one that's got my rings on, and I thought this one I can put, like, earrings in that I've got no room for. So that was that, guys. So that was off my uncle, my uncle Jim. This. This came, and I was like, oh, what's this? I, I didn't know what it was, but... I was impressed with the packaging. So I seen this and I thought, oh, it's a plate. It's a bit weird, my mum's sending me a plate. And I was like, oh, okay. I think this might be like a stainless silver plate. I don't know. But I was like, now I'm intrigued what this may be. So I put that back in there and I took that out. And then the box, and I was like, what is this? Because I, I knew she was sending me a gift, which was this flower because she said she couldn't find me a bouquet flower so she got me something different so this was the box it came in guys and I was like wow presentation 10 out of 10 and then I was like oh, need to get in this so I opened it up guys and it was inside this bag which is similar to what the occult box is one in so I've got two of these bags now and um I was blown away by what i found guys can i just say i also got these back floor incest cones there was a reason why i got these and i'll tell you that at the end so yeah i got them from kate's clothing i think guys with birthday money right back to this so it was displayed guys let me just show you so it was in this box in that bag and it was all satin sat in that satin box so beautiful i'm keeping the packaging because i'm all about packaging and then there was this inside guys it's got all my mucky fingers on it because i've just been mauling it i absolutely love it so it's a black rose 
a real black rose guys this is not fake it's 100% real and then it has these lights on it I just thought oh my god that is so pretty she won't tell me where about she got it from but I do know that it it wasn't cheap so it was more expensive than a bouquet of flowers but it says that this can last up to four to five maybe six to seven years if you keep it out of direct sunlight and you've got the dome box so you can have a feel of it or you can take it out and it sits on the dish that's the whole aim of it now this is sat on my dressing table with all my miniature perfumes and creams on and i just thought it looked really pretty with the light on i absolutely love it i do i mean i didn't pick this this was something i didn't pick but i absolutely love it so that was off my mom and my stepdad so i'm just put the lid back on that box i'm just going to display that there guys because i don't want to knock it or anything so that was that guys really nice presentation really really nice there is a, a thing in there for me to review it i will do that sometime i've just been keeping all the empty boxes in here for now because there's a lot of them right so presentation 10 out of 10 i'm going to just put that there for now moving on guys you might feel like i'm rushing through this but there's a lot to show I'll tell you moving on um i'll grab this quickly because i can't take it out of the box and i'll tell you why so my eldest daughter and son-in-law and two granddaughters they bought me a foot spa I th i've been hinting all through the year that i love doing things with my feet i like doing pedicures and keeping my feet because it's important right while i've got my feet i'll always have my feet but when i end up being like um, paralyzed from the waist down and I don't feel my feet it's not going to feel the same so I I did hint for this and she bought this from Amazon and it was a deluxe blue Levivo health and spa and it does a massage and everything it says maintains warm temperature vibration massage infrared element for better penetration unfortunately upon opening it on my birthday excited to get my feet in it it was all smashed at the back guys so here it's all cracked and smashed off so she contacted them and they were very very apologetic they said we're really really sorry i did cut my fingers on it it was very very sharp which is why i'm not going to mess with it and i've got another one that's coming on monday so they told me to throw this in the bin um i have said to my daughter if she wants it and see if she can fix it by all means it doesn't get wasted because there's nothing wrong with it apart from it is literally smashed at the back which is shame Molly. and then i got this off my eldest daughter my son-in-law and grand this was actually for my grandchildren my two granddaughters and it's a jack skeleton coloring book i've got to tell you i don't know what this is at the front it feels like velvet guys it is beautiful and i got a little note and it's saying to mom happy birthday love from chloe dave and the girls and it's just it's just really really nice now i've got um faber castell pencils which i've just piled everything on top of them i've got these pencils i do own at least 15 coloring books i used to find that this is something that i do when i'm in pain just to channel out the pain a little bit bit of a distraction and i enjoy it so i'm looking forward to having my feet in there and a bit of coloring so that was off my eldest daughter son-in-law and grand daughters so thank you for that right moving on again um who got me this it's a cushion from killstar and it says in memory of sleep i've got quite a few cushions now from killstar including this one i've got the ghost i've got the pumpkin and um there is another one i don't know where it is but i ended up getting this one i know i do want the round back one eventually but it won't be this year because I'm sticking to my nail buying. It's going to be really, really good. So, yeah. So that was that, guys. I think this was $17.99. I did get some other things with this, but we'll get to that at the end. Right. It might have been off my dad, actually, the cushion. I can't remember. It might have been off my dad. Yeah. We'll just go with that for now because I can't remember what I got what. It is hard to remember. Right, I'll move on to these because my... Um, best friend Gemma got me some roses and some drumstick sweets and then she got me this beautiful bag with this really heavy item in and I was like oh my god this is so heavy what is it and then it was a box in a box I thought mm, what is this and I could smell it instantly guys smell it and then I seen this sticker on the top and I went 
I've seen a sticker like that before from a small independent business. So this is definitely a small business. I'm going to put my glasses on for this so I can give them a shout out if it is. So it says, thank you for small supporting our small business. Now, when I opened it, guys, it just, it just hit me and I was like, Oh my God, what is that scent? And I did message Gemma and ask her and she said it's Jimmy Choo because you said that you love the Jimmy Choo fever. And straight away I knew what it was. I was like, oh my God, it is. And it's a Jack Skeleton candle as well. So she's had this made. Oh, it smells amazing, guys. It absolutely smells amazing. Now there's nothing about what business, where the business was from. If I can find out where it's from, the things in the description box down below. I have got a bag of everything here, so it may be that it's in there. If we have time at the end of the video, I'll just quickly have a look and see if I can find it. I'm sure it came with something inside. Maybe. Oh, yeah, it's Candles by Liz. And it's she's in London. And she has a Facebook, Candles by Liz. And she has an Instagram, Candles by Liz. So thank you, Candles by Liz. Obviously bought by Gemma and Stu and the kids. I absolutely love it. I will um, definitely take some pictures. Guys, go and check her out. I mean, I'm going to go and have a nose here. Gemma, Stu, thank you, Liz. Your candles are amazing. So I'm just going to put that here because it's going to go up here somewhere. I haven't decided where yet. So I'm going to put that there guys. Right, and then the bag. I love the bag. I keep all my bags so I will just put that there for now. And then my sister-in-law, brother-in-law, my niece and nephew dropped me this beautiful bag and it says birthday girl laugh love shop. I think she knows me well enough. Zach's in the next room blasting his thing. So I'm sorry if you hear any noise in between. Right, so she got me four things and I was like, how did she know that? That's the kind of thing that I'm into at the minute. You know, I know I'm 44 and I'm getting old and you know, the wrinkles are falling into place. But she got me four things and she said these are Boots own, creams, and I didn't know Boots did their own. And I'm, I've am i been shopping in Boots quite a lot lately and I do actually like the, the beauty section. I've always thought Boots was a little bit too high end, too expensive for me, because obviously I'm a mum and most of my money used to go on my kids before me. I mean, now I've only got sack really at home, but you know, I never really was able to treat myself to anything from Boots. It was always body care or pen shop. I love the bag, so thank you to my sister-in-law Stephanie, Luke, my brother-in-law, and Lily and Jack. So this is um, glycolic acid. If you want to see a video on these, again, comment below. But I got the glycolic acid, put that with all my beauty. I got the, um, ca is it the caffeine? Caffeine eye cream, amazing. She's got these and she's used them and she said she really does recommend them. So I'm looking forward to trying them myself. This one's got hyaluronic acid moisturiser. Again, I love a good moisturiser. I can't imagine Boots being, she put this on spa with um, Lancome, so that's nice to know. And hyaluronic acid serum. Now serums don't normally go well on my skin. I don't know why I seem to break out. But I'm gonna try it and see, and if it doesn't, then it's a goddamn miracle serum and I'll be sticking with this whatever if that's the case so that is what i got of my sister-in-law so chuffed because um i know for christmas she's bought me perfume and i get the gin if you remember i got the glow in the globe gin yeah so i was really really impressed by that moving on super super quickly i'm gonna leave these small businesses here to last let's get through the clothes super super fast so i ordered from a website guys i've never ordered from before these are from my mum and my stepdad, that I do know. So I ordered from a company called Manier Devoir. Have you guys ever heard of it? I haven't. They literally, guys, they told me the minute I bought it, they sent me the dispatch information, they sent me every step of the way, it's coming, it should be here, it's gonna be here, you've got your parcel, leave us a review. Wow, amazing. Haven't tried any of these on yet, guys. They've been passed around pillar to post, but, as you can see, the tag is still on and it says Manier de Bois, leaders in design and quality. So let me take them back off. I hate wearing my glasses. So they're like combat 
trousers. Guys, the material is really, really nice in these. I got a size 16, really stretchy and they're tied as well so I can tighten them if they're a bit too big. They've got this really nice marble black chain on it, plastic chain. Then they've got zipper pockets. Yes, they're actually pockets. And then they've got the Manier d'Ivoire on the pockets here. These are great guys for putting patches on. I am actually going to be putting a few um, Viking patches on here. I found a really nice website on eBay that do patches. I bought lots of patches from different places. So I've got lots of shout outs for patches. But um, yeah, I was like, these are great for that. They're that type of material. And then it just says here, style, style description, brand number, collection sample. These click up, so they've got little press studs. And then they've got another, what I call a money. Is it like a money pocket? Where you can put your, your money in. I used to have some gothic pants that were like this, guys. And they had, no, that's just design. They used to have zips on the inside of the legs, so you could put money in there and nobody knew it was there. Awesome. And that is that guys, and they, they've got the tight cuff on the foot as well. They are like a combat style trousers, but the material is just, I don't even know what the material is guys. It's amazing. It feels like 100% cotton actually. I'd be very surprised if this is not cotton. It says 97% cotton, 3% LSDN, cold gentle machine wash. Amazing. I knew they were cotton. I know cotton pants are a bugger to iron, but my iron is amazing. It really does get through cotton clothes really good. So that was them. Uh, where am I going to put them? I have no idea. Moving on, I did get two support bras for bedtime, guys. They're just totally inexpensive bras that I got online on eBay. And um, these are large. I've got a white and a black. I'm wearing the white one at the minute, but these will be great to put under certain tops as well. Um, I'm very top heavy so I need something for support because I get pains in my in my bones here and it really is painful. Got that with my money, random, I don't know who got what. Right, moving on, off my um, mother-in-law and father-in-law that I do know, I picked this myself, I've never shopped from Disturbia before, this was the first time ever Stop it, shopping from Disturbia. I've always watched Backbones do a Disturbia. Um, I don't know if I've seen everybody else do a Disturbia. Recently, I've seen um, the Spooky Crafter, which is Angela. She's a bit Angela Goth Queen. She's just bought from Disturbia. And I fell in love with this the minute I seen it and I had to have it. It was $37.99. Again, a little bit on the pricey side, but like I said, I had the money to do it and I was doing it. So it's got a little patches on here. It's got like the science patch there. And it says, nation of sheep ruled by pigs, owned by wolves. How awesome is that? And then this is what really drew me to it. Anybody who knows me knows that I am a Viking queen and warrior. Yes. A nice bloody rune on there. And I was like, <laughs> them and them trousers, guys. If I put that same rune on here, on the trousers, do you see where I'm going? That was my vision. I found the top first and I went for the trousers second. But it has this really nice spider web patch. Now I know that um, Angela has just bought a top with a similar design on, but it's spiders. But this is a red and black stripe. I love me a red and black stripe. I've got tights, red and black stripe. I've got skirts, red and black stripes. I've got tops, red and black stripes. I own a lot of red and black stripes. You just not seen them a lot. But yeah, that was that of my mother-in-law and father-in-law. I've not tried any of these on yet, guys. None of them. And if they don't fit, I don't care. I'll fit in them. Or if they're too big, um, I don't care. I like clothes a bit baggy. These I know are from my dad. I do know this. Now, I got this from an Etsy store and it's called um, the Amethyst. Really, really fell in love with this a long time ago. I think I've been eyeing this up for about maybe seven months, maybe eight months. I did notice um, Backbones has one from Disturbia and I know that Thingy's just got one, Angela um, Spooky Crafter. I know that she's just got one in a red tie dye, but this was um, an independent small business on Etsy who do these t-shirts, amazing t-shirts. And I fell in love with this print. So let me just show you. 
so it's the Baphomet tie-dye purple and black and it's got all the phases witchcraft phases of the moon all the astronomy astrology whatever oh and then there's a sticker on here saying the amethyst I will link this shop down below guys this was $24.95 I do remember that I got I think I got a bit too big though guys I think I went for an XXL because I was scared that it might not fit but I think I like my t-shirts really baggy so this with a, a pair of trackies just nice and casually comfy all oh, them trousers love it so this was off my dad I do know because as soon as I got my money off my dad I think I spent it within 10 minutes I think I spent all my money within 10 minutes so that was that guys so that was that Baphomet one absolutely love it they had these in all different colors and different designs for $24.95 they had loads of different designs in general t-shirts I will go back there without a doubt um, if you want to see another video on this a little bit more in depth, like I said, any small businesses that I show quickly now and you want to see more of, I've got to take my slippers, my feet are sweaty, um, I will do. So that was that. Now I did get another one. Um, this one was, I think it was $17.99. It might have been $14.99. It was round about that mark anyway. Now this was the same size as that, but doesn't look as big. But again, it might be different material. It feels like a different material. Yes, yeah, XXL, and that was XXL. So this is the back one. Again, I fell in love with this design. You could have this red if you wanted to, or black and white. I went with the purple theme because I knew I had some red and some purple. As the only colours I seem to I, I, uh, seem to stick to is red and purple and black. So yeah, I like that, and it's got a body in the middle. I know my dad got me one of them perfumes as well. I know he, I know he got me the Jimmy Choo with my money. Yeah, definitely it was Jimmy Choo. My dad might have got me more of the perfumes. I can't remember. But let's move on, guys. Um, back to my mum and my stepdad. Disturbia had a sale on and they had this hat. I know that Moose Ham's got the same hat. They had this in black. The black one was more expensive. This one was um, $14.99. But then um, I got some money off. I think I only paid $9.89 for this, guys, which was super cheap. Super cheap. I think my total order was something like £12 with postage. And it's got <coughs> star. And they've got little piercings. Little, um, what you'd call, labrette lip bars. I, that's what drew me to it, and the fact that it's purple. And I like a good beanie. So I'm going to look very purple. So that was off my mum and my stepdad. Moving on quickly to my mother-in-law and father-in-law. I didn't pick this. They picked this and wrapped it up for me. They'd already given me the money for two t-shirts, one being the one from Disturbia and another one. But they picked me this up as well. And I've been looking at this for ages, contemplating whether I should buy it. I like the fact that it's got this vest top attached to it, cold shoulder, and then it's got this pleaty crisscross design in the arm, three quarter length really nice feel to it and there's a bloody skull on it i mean i think they know me well enough to know that anything with a skull anything with a bat purple or red and i'm happy so she got me a size 16 this is from um is it tr truly yours or is it heart yours i can't remember but i've never bought from this shop before the material feels really nice they all feel really nice quality i've got no complaints so far guys Moving on, mother-in-law and father-in-law, again, I picked this with the money I had left from the money they gave me for my birthday, and I went to EMP and seen this, and I liked it, and it was something around £15, and I thought that was a pretty good price. As you can see, it's just one of the rough cuts kind of material. I've got a few vest tops like that. They hang quite nicely on you and just, yeah, comfy casual. And this is a back top, guys, yes purple bats bats with lace detail at the bottom like a spider web detail and it's at the back it's crisscrossed like the t-shirt in the arms you can loosen it off whichever and then they've got this netty design at the bottom t-shirt long sleeve thunder design two wolves purple blue wolves really cheap guys and i mean really cheap as you can see boohoo <coughs> i think 
my total order came to £30, which is what I'm going to show you now. So t-shirt one, bearing in mind all this came to £30, not that one. Um, t-shirt two, these are in, I think I got an XXL again, guys. XL. This is the white one. Again, I just liked it as a, you know, like a lounge. And you'll see why I got this one in a minute when I get to it. So I thought, I never really wear white and I kind of like a bit of white in the summertime. I know it's long sleeve, but it's quite thin material, quite loose and ah, nice. So moving on, moving on. Right, from the same order, I bought a nice checked shirt, lumber shirt, just casual black vest top, red vest top underneath. Do you get me? Or black jeans, tuck it in your black jeans, nice belt. Or you could have it hanging out with a pair of trackies. Either way, you can mix and match it. I just thought, I fancy a lumberjack t-shirt. Came to £30. And then to end that order of £30, I got some plain black tracksuit bottoms. I do like tracksuit bottoms. I do want to be comfortable and look good at the same time. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to be dressed in jammies in my wheelchair 24-7. Now, there is a little pull on it. Didn't notice that before. Oh, dear. Slightly little pull. It looks like they've been stitched. I don't know if my dad got me them ones and Ben got me these. I can't remember, guys. It's been it's been so long since I bought these, so I don't really remember. Let's just put it this way. Thank you to everybody who bought me anything for my birthday. I know my husband got me this one. So this was the um, Sun and Moon white ribbed top. I got this to go underneath a top, but I like it again. Something different, a bit of white. Nice with black jeans, nice with black skirt. I've got lots of denim skirts. In fact, I do want a black denim skirt this year. That may be on my list, even though I'm on a no buy for clothes. I may have to just buy that one thing for the summertime. Don't really like getting my pins out too much, but I am going to be going on a diet soon. So, and I do want my legs tattooed. I do, I do, I want a lot of things, but. And then I got another lumber shirt. I got a purple one. And I think that was to go over the top of that. Um, I really like the material of this one. It's very, very soft. Very, very soft. And I think this was something like maybe £14, if not £12. And then I bought some tracky bottoms. Hence why I bought the white t-shirts to go with some really nice, like a dusky, lilac-y colour. And it says, um, yes, yes, St. West Hidden Hills, USA. And I got an XL, I think, in them. Not an XXL. I think I got an XL. I've got a large in them because I, they'll fit, they'll fit. I always seem to buy my trackies XXL and they're always swinging off me. So instead of doing that, I went for an XL. Right, so that's all my claws, guys. That is it. That is all my claws. Like I said, I got the white and the black. That was definitely off my husband. I think my dad got me some of the boohoo claws as well. My dad also bought me a table, guys, and it's a fairy table. I'm just going to insert a picture here of it because I don't want to bend down and start picking it up but it's literally here maybe at the end I can just put the camera down so you can see what I've done with it I put it as a bedside table and I put my fairy lamp and my back burner um, tree incense on there I do have a cauldron back burner coming it's a cauldron with a baby cauldron on top it's a back burner it's not arrived yet I wouldn't wait any longer for it so that is what I got for my birthday off Zach, so that's not arrived yet unfortunately but never mind um quickly moving on um i have have i do have something to show from a small independent business gemma craft studio i will do that in a separate video guys because i i want to do that <coughs> and i can explain in detail more about that this is Gemma Craft Studios card. There is a message in this. I will save that for the next video. But she did get me something for my birthday and I thought I'd quickly show it on this. And I'll, I'll put it back in the video that I do with her. So she made me a skull. She bloody made this. She really does blow my mind. She's so talented. A lot of small independent businesses are talented without a doubt. And that's why I love shouting these people out because I just think they're goddamn amazing. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart, but she made this. And I absolutely love black skulls. I've got a fair few up there, but I think this little dude is gonna go over here to match the black and white theme. So yeah, so she made it. 
and I will talk in detail how she made it, what she made it with, what they are in price to buy and so forth. But thank you, Gemma. Stay tuned for that video, guys, because it's coming. It's coming, trust me. So that's that. Right, moving on quickly to the jewellery. The jewellery. We've got Scarlet and Chimes. You should have known that by now. These are off my husband. That I can tell you. I definitely now know that that big pile of clothes from Boohoo is off my dad. The top ones are off Ben. So these are off Ben. Let's get cracking and show you what I got. Scarlet and Change, I've done it before. I've done it plenty of times before. Um, if you do want to see a video of this in depth, let me know. If not, I will just put it in this video and then we won't do it again. But I will do the other jewellery because I've never featured her in my channel. And I have featured Scarlet and Change quite a lot, but I still shout them out. So guys, story behind this, story behind this. I asked them to make me an anklet, guys. And I don't know if you remember, it was on my last, it must be my last Scarlet and Change video. So I had, the two stainless steel bats and I had a rainbow heart Swarovski crystal put in the middle. This is an ankle. It is slightly too big for me, but I did say that. But I like it because it hangs really nicely on the ankle bone and it's just, it's very sexy and I love it. And um, if you want it a bit tighter, there's nothing wrong with that. You can always go up a class. There's nothing wrong with that. I prefer them to be a bit bigger anyway. So that was the start of that. So I, I sent them my Swarovski diamond that I, my dad bought me last year sometime. In fact, not, not last year, the year before. And I've never worn it. It was on a very, very dainty chain. And I just, I just wanted to put it on a better chain. So I sent it to Scarlet and Chains. I did tell them I was sending it. Put a little few sweeties in there and them a few melts just to say that I appreciate them. And they made this as part of my birthday present off Ben. So to match my anklet, it's a necklace, exactly the same, exactly the same design with the two stainless steel bats, but with my Swarovski rainbow crystal. <gasps> guys, I love it. I've not worn it yet. I've kept it, especially for you guys. But if you want to see a video in more detail of this and me trying it on. Okay guys, sorry, my camera cut off. Not surprised with the amount of stuff that I'm trying to <laughs> wingle in one video, but you guys asked for it. Right, I was on um, Skeleton Chains. So obviously I got the necklace to match. Um, so I absolutely love it guys. If you want to see a more in depth video, let me know. Um, I've shouted out Skeleton Chains loads and loads of times, but you know, a video is a video. But I've got to say a huge thank you to Drew and Sophie. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. Now my husband actually got me the earrings to match, minus the bats, I didn't want the bats on it as well, it was too much, I just wanted that beautiful Swarovski crystal. As you know, they've changed their supplier for the Swarovski crystal now, so what they've got left is the end of that stockist. Um, I made sure I grabbed what I grabbed before it was the end, I absolutely love the rainbow um, Swarovski crystal, it's probably one of my ultimate favourite Swarovskis, I do own purple Swarovski crystal, amethyst, should that is Scarlet and Chains, but they were naughty, they were naughty, guess what they put in for me? So they made me some acrylic knife earrings and I was like, oh, now I've lost a little slip, it came in a, in a, in a bag and it said happy birthday Rachel on it and I, I was like, yeah, just the little things cheer me up like that and you know i was so excited to get the parcel in the first place but to get these as well i've not tried them on yet i've just kept i've not tried anything on guys so you want to see a video with it all on or i'll take some pictures and i'll insert it at the end or i'll insert it here while i'm chatting yay what a good idea that way you get to see what they look like on but if you do want to see another video on this in depth let me know if not no worries, but mwah, thank you to Drew and Sophie. Scarlet and Change, check them out. I'll link them in the description box below. 10% off, use my code ENIGMA10. It's worth it. There's other codes down there as well, guys. If you want to take advantage of them codes. Another one. This is off my mum and stepdad. That I do know, because um, I did remember. Now, the pants that I said, the um, these ones, the uh, Mania Devoir trousers, I tell a lie, they were £50, guys. They were £50, let me just show you, and they're called Cargo Pants with Marble Chain Black. 
$49.99. This didn't have string on it, but I put string on it because I took it out and looked it and I was like, ah, wrapped it back up. So I, I kept that on because the box kept, <laughs> the lid kept falling off. Now guys, I'm going to do a video on this separately. So I'm only going to show you what I got for my birthday. There's a free gift with this. I will show you that in a video that I do just on this business because I think she deserves to have a shout out of her own, not thrown into the birthday, um, oh God, the birthday combination. She's actually given me a code as well, hence why I'm going to do a, a separate video of it. But I'm just going to show you quickly. It came in beautiful presentation. It came in that black bubble bag where I've just put it. I had my name and everything on it. It came in this beautiful box. I've got my code in there. I've got a letter that she wrote as well. Um, she was naughty and she put me something in there that she really shouldn't. You want to see that? I will do a separate video on that, but I'm just going to show you what my mum got me with the money. So this came to, I think it was £35, guys. I will check up when I do the actual video on it. But I ordered the um, small rosary beads. Oh, I forgot what this symbol's called. Again, I will do it in the video that I do with Black Witch. It's a satanic symbol and I absolutely love it. I've tried it on. I wanted, to, I wanted to keep it on to be honest with you um, but I took it off and put what my sister bought me because what I was wearing but this is absolutely stunning I think she's an amazing lady she's an amazing business I'm glad I jumped into this business it's been on my cards for a long time there's a few businesses that I still want to dip into but that was that guys I got that off my mum and stepdad and she put me a freebie in there and I know you're all dying to see what it is but I'm not going to tell you until I do the video on this person and I'm just going to mention the name and it's Black Witch. You can find her on Etsy. I will still link her down below if you do want to grab this. She wrapped it in this lovely paper that kind of holds it together. It was so, I'm, I'm trying to keep it presented the way she presented it to me, if that makes sense. So I'm going to hold on to this a little bit longer because I am going to come back later on tonight and do that in a separate video. I won't do the skeleton chains unless that's requested because I have done loads of skeleton chains anyway. But black witch i will do a separate video because i haven't done it before and that's the only reason these small businesses sometimes need their own shout out their own business their own video but if you want to see skeleton chains let me know anyway moving on we have to move on we're running out of time right i bought some patches guys i've already gone ahead and put the patches on so i'm just going to show you the patches so as you know I started this project last year and I'm hoping to finish it this year and be done with. I do still want a few pin badges, but literally only a few now. Um, so I'll talk to you about the new ones. So this one here, this one here, this one here, and here, 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 and here, and here is... Um, grindstone is it grind grindstone yeah there was three for three patches for five pound so i bought i think i bought six no no one two three four five six seven eight nine i got ten patches on all guys was it three for five pound yeah three six yeah yeah that's right and as you can see they're really good patches really really good i'm so happy with these patches they just ironed on like smoothly not no problem not a problem so that was them guys and then let's move you to the back so here are kill stars so these come in a, a packaging like this guys these were not too badly priced i can't remember the price they were $3.99 or $2.99 for some but i think they were $3.99 i got the in memory of when i cared which is the same uh, in memory of sleep cushion i got no i didn't i got the bat yeah, I got the bat, I got the pumpkin, which I have the cushion of the pumpkin, and I got the two dead, two die, my arm's aching, two minutes guys, because this hurts my back when I do that. So I got them from Killstar with the cushion, patches that have fell off in here, they didn't stick too well, um, but I've kept them, which are these Sam, they're going to be stitched on, and any other that start coming away will be stitched on. But I got this one for my birthday off them, which is Wadruna. Yes, I got the symbol. I'm also getting the tattoo for my birthday. My brother has given me tattoos. 
any tattoo I want and I've asked if I can have the Warduna symbol and I may be having another symbol I will show you so um yeah husband got me that from I don't know if it was Etsy or it was Amazon I got this one from um eBay I can't remember the seller's name but it was really good price 185 I will link her down below or him you know what guys I think I'm gonna do this in a separate video just for him because I think it needs shouting out so I'm not going to show the patches from him we're going to do that in a separate video that's what I'm going to do and I will show that one at the same time so I got a lot of band patches for my jacket for my birthday as well and I just wanted to roughly show you the ones um, I got another one there but I'll show you the jacket I will try it on and I'll show you the actual the actual ones and that's it guys I think that is it no it isn't no it isn't here's the um, plastic that came in that I also got a decanter I'm not going to go down and get it because it's actually in my unit I'm going to pop some pictures up here so you can see this was off my sister Mel my younger sister I filled it up with pink gin but it was a school decanter I absolutely love it I think my family have, have grown to like my dad's side of family have grown to realize that I am just a sucker for a school and obviously everybody else that has bought presents for me this year or have sent things know that I love beauty I love skulls I love bats I love anything viking and anything gothic witchy spooky yeah so that is it guys I think I've covered everything obviously I've showed you a picture of the table um I am going to be coming back because I've got a few shout out videos to do I've had friend mail off a lovely lady another youtuber I want to do that in a separate video I'm going to do black witch in another video guys I'm also going to do this eBay seller in a separate video showing the patching details on why I decided to go for them kind of patches and I will probably do another I'm doing another shout out for something that I've had made which I am just totally blown away with like totally overwhelmed that's all i can say all right guys take care thank you for watching pop your comments on below which was your favorite item too many yeah i know and i'm sorry if anybody don't like this video if you want to give it a thumbs up i would love that if you want to give it a thumbs down the only thing i ask in return is just to pop a little comment down below what it is you didn't like about the video and i can totally understand that you know some people call it as a, a bragging but trust me this has nothing to do with bragging it was asked for me to do it otherwise i would have never have done it i'd have just took pictures like i normally do i spread it on my bed take a picture but i'm very very humbled very very grateful for everything i've got with that said take care guys stay safe look after each other be nice to each other and most of all stay weird and spooky Mwah. thank you everybody for the cards the wishes the messages the presents the money the gifts the lot it's my parents my husband my in-laws my my children i've not got one bad present not that i ever get like that because i'm not an ungrateful person so i loved everything all right guys if i've missed anybody out i'm really really sorry times of an essence but i really do and my husband found my ipod i'd say that's the best present ever but it it, it yeah it brought tears to my eyes let's put it that way it means a lot to me this and yeah anyway take care Bye for now.
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.